Well, welcome to Shep Talks. Through this space, guests have an opportunity to share valuable insights, experiences, and lessons learned throughout their time with Shep. Joining us today is Danielle Breidung, a consultant working with Shep. Welcome, Danielle. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, Danielle, shall share a little bit of information about yourself and your involvement with Shep. Absolutely. So in the summer of 2010, I was the Shep intern. And in 2012, I graduated from Washington and Lee University, where I was involved heavily with the Shep program. Since then, I served two years with AmeriCorps VISTA and did consulting for nonprofits primarily in the coastal South Carolina region. After moving to Atlanta, I had the opportunity to meet the executive director of Shep, Jim Langford, and the rest is history. I've been consulting with Shep since January. Wow, well, excellent, Danielle. You have a, a tremendous background that I'm, I'm sure really helps to connect with all the projects you're working on and especially with alumni. So when you think about uh, Shep and the alumni, tell us a little bit of how people can get involved with the organization this summer and beyond. Well, of course, this summer presented a lot of opportunities for SHEP, given its history of facilitating in-person internships. We really pivoted our operations in exciting ways, and we'll be offering a host of virtual engagement opportunities for our SHEP interns, as well as the alumni community. So in terms of alumni getting engaged, there are four main ways that they can plug into the summer program. Those include recording a welcome message on Flipgrid, co-leading one of our summer discussion groups, which will involve a small group of SHEP interns, serving on an alumni panel at the opening conference, and attending our keynote events, which will be taking place throughout the summer. So those are the very active engagement opportunities. Besides that, we would encourage all of our alumni to follow Shep on social media to get updates about all of the exciting things happening this summer and to subscribe to our e-newsletters. For those who are able and willing, we always encourage alumni to contribute financially because that helps us continue to offer wonderful programs during the summer and academic year. Well, excellent. Those are some amazing ways for people to get involved. And I understand you're going to be doing some type of engagement survey. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So I just listed a number of ways for people to get involved. And so in order for people to identify exactly how they would like to contribute, we are offering an alumni engagement survey on our website under the alumni tab at the top. Alumni engagement is one of the drop down menus. So we ask that people fill out that survey so that Shep can gather up to date contact information, but also identify how people would like to be involved, whether that's participating in one of the four summer opportunities that I mentioned, subscribing to the newsletter, or even joining our Shep Ambassadors program, which is really designed to help spread the word about Shep and to connect the program with potential donors who may not be as well acquainted with the impact that we're having on poverty studies. Well, wonderful, Danielle. So if people have questions, how should they get a hold of you? So of course they can reach out on social media. That's an easy way to connect, but also via email. I'm available for conversations and correspondence. My email is danielle at shepherdconsortium.org. And I look forward to speaking with many alumni over the course of the next few months. Well, thank you, Danielle, for joining us today. We look forward to connecting with you again. Until next time. Thanks, Cheryl.